my name is Shell Mansell, and welcome back to another video. So in this video, guys, I'm going to be discussing with you guys what I have been doing for the past mm, two, three weeks on World of Warcraft. Now, we are in a little bit of a content drought right now. Between 735 and Battle for Azeroth, there's not going to be a lot of content. And right now, between 7.3 and 7.3.5, again, not a lot of content. However, 735 should be released in about mm, a week and a half, I'd say. I'd say about a week from Tuesday. <clears throat> and... With this release, there's bringing a lot of changes to leveling. There's the Una pet, which is going to have probably its own scenario. And uh, a lot of those types of things, as well as probably allied races with a pre-purchase. <coughs> Sorry, I'm sick. Um, so, I thought I'd let you know what I'm doing in World of Warcraft right now. And if you guys find yourself logging in, maybe flying around your capital city for a few minutes, and then logging off, maybe you can try doing some of these tips. So, the first thing I've been doing is uh, grinding out reputation. So, why am I doing this? Well, for allied races, it's been proven that you are going to need exalted reputation with a couple different factions per allied race. So, for an allied race, you need one, a 110 character on that server, and two, this reputation. For a high mount, you need to grind out exalted with the high mount torrent, which is what I've been doing. I personally was about 6,000 rep off from exalted based on just world quests that I'd done. I'd gotten myself that close. So for the past two three weeks, I've just been doing world quests and emissary caches on High Mountain and the Dalaran one because that gives you rep too. And I just hit Exalted about two three days ago and pretty happy with it. Um, now so I can get in a uh, High Mountain Allied race whenever I want to when it comes out, as well as the Suramar one, guys. So you're gonna need Exalted with that. And if you guys got flying, you already have Exalted with Suramar, which is really nice because um, Suramar is obviously needed for this and um. Yeah, I'm almost happy that I did it with flying, although I hated doing it. If you guys grinded out flying, you already have Exalted Suramar rep, which is a fantastic, fantastic, excuse me. If you didn't, all you guys gotta do is simply do quests, do world quests, do emissary caches. Boom, boom, boom. You should have it done in about a month if you guys are starting from base, um, just honored or friendly, wherever you guys are. So, um, the alliance factions are not as easy to grind out. Because you need Army of the Light and Argusian Reach reputation, Exalted with both of those. So what can you do for this? Same thing as that. Emissary caches, quests, world quests. So those I don't think I'm farming out yet because I can't get exalted with another faction that's going to require me to do more quests like it did in uh, Suramar because that just drained my energy in 7-2. Um, but if you guys are already working on this, very good. Definitely do it with both of those and the other two factions as when allied races are released with 7-3-5. Um, you're just, you're going to get your allied race right, right away. You're not going to have to wait to go grind out more reps. So I'd recommend doing that right now. Secondly, and this is a little bit more controversial, I have been doing leveling. So, I've been trying to level up on a new server. I'm trying to level up a Death Knight to level 70. Then I'm going to get a Demon Hunter, get him up to 110, and I'll start out my server like that. <coughs> Why am I doing this? Um, well, I've been considering re-rolling to Alliance just because I love the Horde and all, but I kind of want to change the story almost, and uh, a change of ideals and that kind of thing. And I made a whole Alliance versus Horde bit if you guys want to go check that out. Um, but as for why I'm doing it, like I said, just want to change servers. And the real controversy, as I said, with this is 735 is bringing the leveling changes. And I'm not really waiting for that yet. I'm just going to try and grind out my Death Knights level 70 right away so I can just get my Demon Hunter up to 110 whenever I want. Rather than having to wait and being like, ah, let's wait another week and a half. So I'm just trying to do it right now because I don't really have anything else to do. And the third thing I've been doing, guys, is honestly, I've been doing a little bit of Auction House and a little bit of world quests on Argus. So, Auction House, I've just been kind of looking around. I've been buying out a few things, reselling them. I'm not really good at the Auction House. I do it very um, infrequently, and it's not really something that is on my priority list. But the Argus world quests are very, very good if you guys can get yourself to do this. Because one, they help you for the Allied Race rep, right? Because as I mentioned, you guys need to be exalted with two of the uh, Argus uh, factions. And these are going to help you get rep for that, which is really good. And secondly, a lot of the, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of rares on Argus do drop mounts. For example, Houndmaster Carrix, I've been working to him for probably four weeks now, maybe even like a month. Um, and I've just, I haven't gotten them out yet, the Vile Fiend, and I want it really badly. So I just keep going, grinding them every single day. And if I get them, I get them. If not, it's all right. Um, but yeah, I would definitely recommend doing two of those things. If you guys don't want to level, it's okay. But definitely grind out your rep right now. And definitely go do rares on Argus because they'll help you with the rep and maybe get you a mount or two. So yeah, guys, that is all for this video. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure you leave a like. Comment down below what you guys have been doing for the past, I don't know, two and a half weeks. Um, and I will see you all in 735. And hopefully... Um, Obviously, I'll do sooner, but hopefully 735 is good and the ally races do get released because I've been saving up money on my account.
for the pre-purchase. So as soon as 735 is released, if Allied Races are released with the pre-purchase, I will definitely make more videos on that. So subscribe to more World of Warcraft content. I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.